Hello, good morning everybody. I would just like to start with a new topic today for my students. That is beach tourism in India and its popularity among the Indian tourism public, travel public. Yeah. What actually is a beach? A beach is basically a geographical term. It is a landform alongside a body of water which consists of which consists of loose particles. The particles composing a beach are typically made from rock such as sand, gravels, shingle, pebbles or cobblestones. The particles can also be biological in origin such as mollusks, shells, etc. Some beaches are man-made infrastructure such as lifeguard posts say, and have got lifeguard posts, showers and changing rooms whereas some other beaches are natural. Beaches typically occur in areas around the coasts or in the coastal areas where wave or current action deposits and reworks sediments. Beaches can be very popular on warm sunny days. In the Victorian era, many popular beach resorts were equipped with bathing machines because even the all-weather beachwear, all-covering beachwear of the period was considered immodest. In many countries, in more than 30 countries of Europe, South Africa, New Zealand, Canada, Costa Rica, South America and the Caribbean, the beach recreation facilities are awarded blue flag status based on such criteria as the quality of water, the infrastructure and the basic amenities, facilities and provisions which are available in that place for the, for the tourists coming to spend quality time okay and uh, and planning to recreate in the beaches subsequent loss of this status can be seen uh, can have a severe effect on tourism revenues india is a land india is in fact the largest peninsula in the world india is in fact the largest peninsula is in the world after the arabian peninsula the three uh, the three sides of india is covered with water on the east we have got the bay of bengal on the west we have got the arabian sea and on the south we have got we have got the indian ocean so three sides of the indian so indian uh, uh, landmass is covered with water on the eastern coast the prominent beaches which can be highlighted or located are scattered around before that i would like to say the indian coastline has got a total area of 6100 kilometers encompassing nine states from the east, if we go to the west, okay, in a clockwise direction, we will say it's West Bengal, Orissa, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Karnataka, Goa, Maharashtra, and finally it will end up with the bare sap state of Gujarat. If we start with if we start with West Bengal, first of all, we'd like to see that there are uh, there are a few prominent beaches on the Indian landmass on the eastern coast of the country. They are Digha and Mandarmani in West Bengal, Puri, Konark, Paradip, and Gopalpur on sea in Orissa. In Andhra Pradesh, there is the very famous Vizag beach, also known as Visakhapatnam beach, which is on the outskirts of the Visakhapatnam city. In, in Tamil Nadu, there is the largest beach in the country, the Marina beach at Chennai. Apart from that, there are the golden beaches. Then there is one more Kovalam beach. Then there is, a, there is the Kanchipuram beach, as well as the Mahabalipuram beach, all located within uh, all located within the state of Tamil Nadu, very close to Pondicherry and all. Then we go to Kerala. In Kerala, we can get on the western side we get a good number of beaches like the Kovalam beach, which is located in the Thiruvananthapuram city the capital city of kerala apart from that we have got the kochi beach we have got a very good beach at kori code also known as calicut right then we go to we go to karnataka in karnataka we get the om beach very close to mangalore or suratkal then we move upwards on our, uh, as you go towards the up with we'll goa and goa is the home of beach tourism in the country along with kerala in goa it is again divided into two halves, the southern half and the northern half. In northern Goa, we come across beaches like 
Panjim Beach, Miramar Beach, Vagator Beach, Anjuna Beach, Kalanguti Beach, etc. Further, when we come south, down south to South Goa, we come across another series of beautiful beaches like Baga Beach, Kolva Beach, Pamolim Beach, etc. Even on the northern side, very close to Anjuna Beach, there is a place called Morzim, which has got a beach of its own. All these beaches are actually bordering the Arabian Sea, as I have already said, in the western coast of India borders the Arabian Sea, just as the eastern coast of the country borders the Bay of Bengal. So on the western and the southern part of the country, places like Kanyakumari and Rameshwaram, they touch the Indian Ocean. But because of the tsunami effect of 2006, 2006, the beaches, 2004 and 2006, the beaches in many parts of Tamil Nadu, like Tirunel Valley, Tutikorin, Rameshwaram, the Nagar Coil, what is called um, Kanyakumari, etc., has got damaged and distorted. Now the beaches are no more there, only rocks and sharp pebbles are can be seen if you go to visit those places. Again, coming back to the west, yeah, very close to Anjuna Beach, there is the Russian hub or the Russian territory of Morzim. Morzim, though it is a part of Goa, but all the Russian tourists come there and they have established their colony there. So the Morzim Beach is basically populated by Russians. Then we go gradually move towards the north. We re enter the state of Maharashtra. In Maharashtra, we get excellent and exquisite beaches at the Ratnagiri. Gradually, when you go to, Mahar to Mumbai, in Mumbai, we have got a world famous site, world famous beach site, which is very famous for many Hindi movies, they were shootings taking place, and, may, and, uh, and it also houses the, houses the residential apartments of many Bollywood celebrities. It is the Zuhu Beach. The Zuhu Beach is very famous out there. From Maharashtra, gradually as you go to Goa, we'll come across the Union territories having their unique attractions as far as beach tourism is concerned. Places like Diu, which is an island, Daman, and even Dadra and Nagar Haveli have got their own beaches. Apart from some exotic location, beach locations located in Jamnagar, Porbandar, and Okla in Goa, in Gujarat. Therefore, there are lots of activities to perform in the beaches. The people who go to flock in the beaches know that it is a combination of three S, the sun, sea and sand. They want to spend their leisure and pleasure time lying down on the sand. They enjoy sunbathing. They want to take a bath in the sea. And they want to be under the, under the care of the sun. The sun, sand and sea, these three form the basic impetus, the basic fulcrum of beach tourism. On top of that, people who love to flock the beaches, they enjoy a lot of seafood which is available in the sea and their diet for those days basically depends upon the different varieties of marine, of marine animals, marine fishes, different varieties of fishes, fishes which are available in and out at that place. The fishermen make a good harvest of their money, a good harvest of their, uh, uh, what is called, of their income, right, and they are into this profession from time immemorial. One thing can be said is that different varieties of what is called marine food like the tuna, the red snapper, the pomfret, the mackerel, then oysters, lobsters, different varieties of prawns, sea crabs, sea, uh, sea snails, etc. can be devoured with relish Okay, when you go to visit a beach. Therefore, I can conclude by saying that beach tourism is very much in vogue now. People traveling to different parts of the world definitely look for beach tourism activities. They like to spend the quality time, leisure and pleasure time in the beaches along with their friends and family members. They just want to take a break from their mechanized and materialistic way of life and beach is one of the best hunting spots or best spots where they can spend their leisure time, the relaxed time with their dear and near ones. And India is not lagging behind. India is one of the foremost destinations in the world as far as beach tourism is concerned as the total total distance of 6100 kilometers of india's total landmass is covered is covered by coasts and there are nine coastal states and all along this coastline there has developed an umpteen number a series of beautiful beautiful memorable uh, memorable and attractive beaches that's it thank you